spotted an area in my kitchen which really needs some attention and it will literally take me two or three minutes. Where do you keep your ears? So we popped some parmesan on top and we're gonna dip in the bread. Good morning and welcome back. I am having a friend over today, somebody that's never visited my house before, a friend that I've made through Lollipop. Um, we've met together briefly for a coffee, but he doesn't live near here, but he's visiting family close by. So he's coming here to visit. So I need to tidy up, make some lunch, and I thought it would be quite nice to actually vlog it as I'm gonna be doing all the kind of things that you guys like, so I thought that'd be quite nice to do it with you. And um, and then you get to meet my friend too, because lots of you will know him, so that would be really nice. But I thought, because I'm in the middle of kit packing, so it's a busy, busy time for me, I wanted to make a really quick lunch, but something that's really yummy. So I was going to make pizza soup. I've got bread ready to go in the oven, I've prepped that. And then this morning I woke up and I thought, I fancy macaroni in that pizza soup so I've invented pizza macaroni soup so we're going to do that today something I haven't made or dreamt of before so um, it's just come into my head today so I'm gonna go and make that and then I'm gonna have a little blitz around here because for somebody to come into my studio for the first time it wouldn't be a good first impression so deliveries I've always got deliveries um, tidy up my desk area I was filming yesterday the tiles are there I was gonna make a Valentine's project for some friends that never got dealt with and um, yeah just a general little when tidy. it comes to having loads of jobs the first thing I like to try and do is prioritize them and the number one priority is getting lunch in the crock pot and the bread in the oven. So onto the soup. I'm doing a crock pot soup. So this is three tins of um, chopped tomatoes. And then I've just popped about um, a quarter of the tin with water, swished it around, and I've popped that in with each of them. Now I'm going on to make some cheese sauce. I've got a tiny little bit of flour, just plain flour, and some margarine, which I'm melting down. Adding a little bit of milk, just normal semi-skimmed, giving that a whisk until it starts to thicken. Then I'll add more milk until I'm happy with the consistency. Just making a little cheese sauce to pop in with the soup because it's a pizza sauce. So that a pizza soup, so that means tomato and cheese. So this is our cheese sauce. And the sauce is now bubbling, so I'm going to pop some. Um, small bits of cheese in there to melt. To the chopped tomatoes, I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, I've got salt and pepper, a lovely squirt of ketchup, and then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning as well. So think of this as like your pizza base. That's what this is like. And now pour in the cheese sauce. It's lumpy because some of the cheese hasn't properly melted. And this is like the cheese topping. We're gonna mix that all up together. I will scrape this out though. Just for good luck, we'll add a bit more cheese. And I'm gonna add a few handfuls of macaroni. Not too much because it does kind of, when it cooks, it go, it swells. So you don't want too much. It is a soup, not a pasta dish. There we go. And I'm going to stick that to cook for three hours. I have got a high setting on my slow cooker, so we'll see how that does. If I had fresh basil, I would put that in here. I would put fresh spinach in as well but I don't have any, so it's not going in. It's made me coffee. I've put the bread in the oven, but I think for the first time ever, my bread might not work. It, I put it into the cast iron dish to bake and it's really, really wet. I've tried to add more flour to it whilst it's in the pot, but it had been in the oven on 240 for quite a long time, so the dish, the cast iron pot's really, really hot. Um, I just rushed it. I just bunged it in, so. It might stick, it might not rise, I don't know. I haven't got good faith in this loaf and I've been doing these now for two years and it's the first time I'm thinking it's not gonna work. Now, if you've been watching my videos recently, you would have seen me talk about my zone cleaning and how I've been focusing, setting up routines and cleaning schedules and working on each zone at a time in the house. Last week was all about zone one and I'm just having a tidy. I didn't get around to doing everything. I've still got all the rubbish there. I really wanted to sort out that cupboard. It's full of DVDs and videos that nobody watches. So the idea is to get rid of the DVDs and the videos and start keeping the board games because we've got board games upstairs on top of wardrobes as well. We do like our board games, but I don't want them living at the bottom of the stairs anymore. So um, we've got a few bits to put out for the rubbish by the front door as well. 
and um, I'm gonna have a little bit of a tidy around here. Downstairs Lou's been cleaned this and morning. I'm gonna put a dust around in here as well. I'm in the middle of kit packing as well. This is where I'm working at the moment, trying to get my kits packed as they get sent in three days time. I feel like I'm running around and getting nowhere. I'm gonna sit at my desk and do a couple of admin jobs I have to do. I rushed to get something out the larder and then I've knocked flour over, so I've got flour everywhere in the larder now. So I need to clean that up as well. Um, do my desk jobs, tidy up in here, and then go back into the house. The oven time has gone off. Moment of truth to see if the bread is a fail. It's not one of my masterpieces. It is only a half loaf, so it's flat, but they do usually rise more than that. I guess it is for dipping in the pizza um, soup, so I guess the moment of truth will be when we actually cut into it. One of the things about zone cleaning that I really like is that you clean areas that you usually forget to clean. So like now I'm just cleaning the top of the radiator cover here. I'm just giving it a wipe over and they're always just like a couple of minute jobs but with the zone cleaning you focus on one area of your home for that week so this week is my kitchen so like this week I have like stripped all the um, windowsill area cleaned all that I cleaned the area here where my cookbooks are I do want to declutter there we've got an extra little TV up in Louis's room that isn't being used we're thinking about popping it there because I quite like having things on sometimes when I'm cooking um, or like a YouTube video to go along with a recipe that I'm doing or something like that so I think that might be quite fun just going through things I've had some big deliveries I don't know where to put them at the moment um, I have to order in bulk things like my paper bags and until I start to use them I struggle to find places for them I've also had new deliveries of notepads and again I've just got no place for them so they're gonna have to live there for the time being I have however found all this bits from Christmas and also we had a new I don't know something to do with sky delivered so I'll let aid go through the sky stuff and I have a quick tidy up I removed this from one of the boxes that can go in my camera drawer these I had delivered yesterday these are going to be um junk journal so i'm going to turn those into a junk journal i had a dvc envelope come through we pay online we don't obviously send a check or anything to the states but this will be really nice for my disney journal and i had a gift come through yesterday from elaine who's one of my patreons look how cute this tiny mini journal it's so sweet have you got one of these and if so how do you use yours um, I've got lots of ideas, but I'd love to know what you would do with this. I never thought that I would be The one who turned you down and you disagree We've been on and off, you were never mine to keep Where do you keep your ears? <laughs> um, they didn't plan on living here, but they've kind of ended up here. And that's where my ears live. There, that's a little bit better. I'm not aiming for perfection. At the end of the day, he's a really good friend. And I know that he loves me, no matter what things look like. But I just wanted it to look a little bit nicer for me. So that's all that matters, isn't it? If friends and family love you, then they should love you how they find you. Before I start back at work, I do need to put the hoover around and dust, and I need to clear up the flour in the larder. Luckily, there wasn't too much flour left in the pot. There's just a bit of rye flour, but um, I still need to clean that up. So I have a question. When you spill something on your hoover, how do you hoover up your hoover? I just cleaned all that, hoover dusted, put the hoover back in the cupboard and I knocked the flower pot off again. Basically, I knocked over my rye flower, um, I think it was last week, and the top of the, the lid is ceramic and it's smashed. I haven't got one to replace it at the moment, so I've just left it in the cupboard. Um, there's no sort of like sharp bits or anything like that, just it doesn't have a proper lid at the moment. So I've just knocked it off again. Um, so I've had to clean that up. 
I need a new jar to put my rye flour in. I feel really warm now. Um, nearly there. It's amazing what you can do in an hour if you just really put your mind to it. I can't believe how much I've done this morning. I'm going to choose a wax melt and then whilst we were talking of zones, I've spotted an area in my kitchen which really needs some attention and it will literally take me two or three minutes. I love my wax melt desk. That aide keeps shoving all his rubbish in. I've got cleaning cloths from his glasses in here. Right, what shall we go for? I might go for sugar cronuts. This one is a really good one. It's not only a room filler, it's a house filler, this one. I've just checked on the soup as it's been an hour. The smell reminds me of America. It's so nice. Um, I've given it a bit of a taste test. I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra salt. Cleaning's done. Aid's done things like empty the bins and He's also tidied up around by the front door, which is really nice and dealt with the rubbish and all that kind of thing. And I am now going to be able to work a couple of hours before Alex gets here. I got completely sidetracked. I remembered I wanted to sort out this area here. I said it was only gonna take me a couple of minutes. It was going through cookbooks on Sunday, choosing a menu for this week. And I realized when I went onto my cookbook stand, I hadn't even noticed. It wasn't until a couple of days ago that I realized that I've got so much paperwork on here. I've even got stuff on there from when the kids were at school and Louis left school a couple of years ago now. That's how long it's been since I've gone through and decluttered. There shouldn't really be anything on here on the cookbook stand except for cookbooks. So I'm gonna go through today and bin it. Found a decal for the car. <laughs> I'd forgotten we'd had this. I've also found like dates for Louis' exams, which like I said were two years ago. Um, there's just so much rubbish here. Stuff for MOTing our car, which we no longer have. Found a birthday invitation for summer 2018. Really, really old receipts. And letters from Virgin Atlantic from 2018. I really don't think all this needs to be here. The only thing I'm gonna keep, there's a really cute little photo of Louis. There is a bookmark from the kids that they bought me. So I'll keep that there. And other than that, I will pick a couple of cookbooks that inspire me to go on there. I do love the pinch of num recipes. I flick through that quite often. And you know, I haven't looked through my Hummingbird Bakery cookbook for a long, long time. I used to alternate my recipe books quite regular, just so that I would look through them, take inspiration and that kind of thing. And I got out of the habit of doing that. So I'm gonna get back in the habit of doing that again and just cooking from um, a new recipe or an old recipe from old cookbooks, maybe once every couple of weeks. I have found as much as I love Pinterest, I don't delve into my cookbooks like I used to since using Pinterest so often. Let me know if you still um, use your cookbooks. Do you still look through them? I absolutely love looking through a cookbook. I think that's the beauty of breaking your home down into zones and focusing on one zone at a time during that week. You get to notice all the small jobs that you don't usually think about. Um, obviously I haven't focused on that area for a very long time and um, yeah you just don't pick up on things so um, I'm really loving getting back into my zone cleaning again these last couple of weeks. After two hours the soup's actually done I've just checked on it and the macaroni's really nicely cooked. Um, I've put it onto just warm now rather than cook as I don't want the pasta to go to mush. So I've checked it, I've added lots of seasoning and a sprinkle of sugar as well. I also meant to say with regards to the zone cleaning, if you've no idea what I'm talking about, I'll link down the video, or link up the video below so you can go and check it out. It was what I was talking about um, the other day in my vlog. And if you have a little area in your house that you think will take you five minutes, go and give it a little blitz. And I pre-sliced the bread, so now you'd be none the wiser that it didn't rise quite as well as normal. And in fact, the smaller pieces will be so much better for dunking in the soup. Made the soup, we popped some parmesan on top and we're gonna dip in the bread. <laughs> I've got Alex with me. This is my friend from, originally a customer, weren't you? Yeah. And now you've become one of my favorite people to hang out with. The favorite person. Mostly online. It's only the second time we've got together. Yeah. And Alex is also Disney lover and crafter. And today he's going to pack his own lollipop box club kit. I'm excited. Go on then, Alex. Right, what goes in first? Um, what do you think goes Papers. in first? Papers, that's it. And the size of the box. Yeah, that's it. 
Um, somebody did an unboxing the other day and she forgot to, she didn't realise there was papers in the bottom of her kit. That's, the best. That's my favourite. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, die cut's right, always mine. Watching you. Okay, what goes in next? Is it the envelope with the peg? No. Ah! There's, it's always the same thing, the papers and then there's two items. Oh no, this is, this is testing me now. I know, what goes in next? I'm the test. Stickers. Stickers? Yeah. The big sheet? Yeah. Yeah. The Mrs Brimbles. Yeah. I love the cameras and the speech bubbles. These would be handy with your um, Disney. Disney, that's yeah. what I was thinking. That's cool. And then you get a strip of stickers as well. The same ones. Yeah. And they've got the bottom. Yeah, that's the right. Bottom. And then, then is it the envelope with the... No. Oh. No. You can, you, can, on, you can put two other items in now, and they both look similar this month. The die cuts? Yep, and there's a little pack of journal cards oh, as I'm well. Oh, I've taken them out, I've not taken them out of your box. So I'm no, 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 this is an extra one, it's right, fine. Yeah. So die cuts, and yep. then... Yep, those ones, they're journal oh, cards. journal cards. Yeah, have you seen those? Yep. Yeah, they look cool, don't they? They don't go in like that, though, Alex. Oh, right. no. Oh, no. oh no. no! They go over to this side. Like that? That's it. Well, I've been doing them like that. Okay. So the camera looks out. Okay, and then there's two items that go on the top. Nearly done with his kit. Did you enjoy that? I did. It was actually more stressful than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I don't know how you do so many. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. And then you can show us what you've made with it. Yes. I thought you meant right now. I was like, that's no, no, not that now. Pressure. No, we won't do that. Well done, Alex. No, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> A couple of days later, that soup is so delicious. Try it. You don't even have to like make a cheese sauce from scratch. You could just add like a packet or a jar, something like that. It's so good. The one thing I would suggest, and I think next time I would pre-cook the pasta and add that in at the last minute. I'd left it on just over sort of like a low heat and the pasta was a bit mushy, if I'm totally honest. But it's really, really yummy, really good. And the bread worked absolutely fine, so that was all right. But um, let me know if you are working on any of your decluttering. Are you doing any zone cleaning? Lots of you seem to sort of like have a similar kind of routine when we spoke. And I also wanted to let you know that I've been working on this mini journal. I am loving it. I decided to use it as funny conversations and I've started documenting in it already I've got a few pages and I did a video about that over on my journaling channel so if you are interested leave a link below suddenly everyone in our patreon community is now buying up these little mini journals all inspired by the lovely Elaine we're very excited loads of different purposes for using them and we're all very very excited so it's amazing when one person starts something Elaine and that loads and loads of us are now doing it and having so much fun um, that's what I love about our little community it's just so nice to share these things and be inspired and we're all just having loads of fun with it but thank you for watching today I hope you've enjoyed it let me know if you fancy giving that super go and let me know if you've decluttered an area like my cookbook stand that you haven't touched for ages it's amazing sometimes how you can live with something and not notice but thank you have a great weekend and I will catch up with you on Sunday lots of love